Hello, my name is Filip Protsenka and today I'll show you how to use Mosher, the smart measuring tool, with our irrigation design software called Irisketch. And let's start. And we will be using the newest Mosher 2, Mosher 2 Pro, which has new features uh, such as layouts, which can be useful for sprinkler placement on site when you have your irrigation design done. And also they say that it is more precise than previous version. And of course, it has the newest USB-C port. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, all the links you can find in the description of this video. Let's start with measuring. In the Mosher app, let's select the closed shape measurement type because we will be importing it in Irisketch later and we need a closed polygon. Okay, let's start with two points that you can always find later because with these points you will be starting every new layer. And then you go from one point to another, very smooth and easy. You don't shake the device while moving, don't hit it on the surface, lean gently and don't turn it in a very fast manner because Mosher is a motion-based device and it depends on how you handle it and the precision will be better if you do it very very nice. The Mosher app has really nice tutorials inside and uh, that's why I won't guide you through all the measurement process and all the features because the goal of this video is to show you how it interacts with Irisketch. Okay, I finished first layer and the precision is 0.3%, it's very nice. Let's start one more layer, starting with the same points. And I really enjoy the Mosher because it enables you to get the measurement done very fast and also you impress the customer with this type of measurements. They start to think that you are really, really big professional in your niche. Okay, we're done. And the second layer of precision is not good as first, but it's okay, 1.3%. Let's go further. Okay, we're done with measurement. Now let's get to the ear sketch. We open the website and there we create new project for our measurement and open it. Here we can import our measurements that file we can find in the Mosher when we finish the drawing and we click on the file export menu and here we export to CSV to view row coordinates. Here is the settings of the CSV. What we need is the layer name, column heading, layer number. Almost all features are on except you shouldn't include the ignore points. That matters when you have multiple layers. And now you click on export and you will get this file. Then you can open it on computer. We need to select some polygons, start drawing. For example, let's draw the loan. Just put some point to be a reference for measurement and import that project. Okay, we got the measurement here and you can see it almost resembles our measurements. Let's turn it a little bit properly and fix some issues with measurements. And we can set another type of surface to distinct it's let's say mulch okay done importing and we can do whatever we want for example we can put some irrigation nozzles here and go to the customer and say okay here is your plan here is layout outlay just give me the money but what i want to show you is the newest feature from Mosher called layouts how it can be helpful to a contractor when you create a design and you go to the site to install the system sometimes you have problems with locating the sprinklers you put on drawing uh, if you put sprinklers in corners of course it's easy to find them or you bind them to some special places like uh, hands or anything but if the sprinkler is located somewhere inside the area it can be a hard task to locate it okay let's just put two sprinklers sprinklers like this and find them on the site using the Mosher layout feature. To do this we need to have a file that we import in Mosher and we select our sprinklers in Irisketch and click on button on the left bottom Mosher layout expert. When you click on that button you will be prompted to set the AB vector. What is an AB vector is a reference point. Point A is a zero coordinate for the system. Here is the link to the video that explains the layout mode, you should look it first before you use this to fully understand how to properly export. Set some vector to be the reference. Let's start from point A to point B and save some file. And we need to import it in Mosher late. Okay, now we're ready to go back to the site and make some layout job. We are back on the site and we're ready to use that layout feature to locate the sprinklers. We start by opening the Mosher. Here we got the measurement, but we need to click on plus activate the layout mode. Here we have 
to upload that CSV file that we exported from Eurisketch, you should select proper delimiter and continue then. Then you will see two points here and you can also preview them to be sure that these points are located somewhere properly. As you see, this is the AB reference vector. Okay, let's start by doing. As you can see, they ask us to align the phone with that AB vector. So let's start with that. Okay, now we align our phone and click on done. Then we can start with moving through our base vector from point A to point B to set the proper direction. When it's done, we now have the direction and as we turn our phone, we are getting the direction we need to move to. Says we need to go back something, 18 centimeter, and success, the first point is found. Now we can go to the second point. And you see that when we turn the phone, we get the direction. And let's stop the same place and go four meters to this direction. Okay, one meter more. And success. So now it prompts us to return to start to control the measurement failure. show us the error. As we can see our start finish error is 2%. So we are done with the measurement and that's pretty everything I wanted to show you but a measure itself can do a lot more so you can visit their official website check information there. We also have support page on our website I will drop you the links in the description so you can contact us any day and have a nice day guys bye bye use measure with Iris Kitchen.